now what we're going to look at is how to add a particle system to our sequencer and how to then toggle that off and on. So this might be useful if you have like an explosion or maybe you've got um, some kind of smoke that you just want to come off and then turn off just like we have here. So with our particle system selected, all we're going to do is go to our sequencer, go to track, add it to, add it to sequencer and add this kind of steam jet thingy in. So what we want to do is basically have this turned off, turn it on, and then turn it off again. So with the steam jet in place, if we just click on our track and go to particle toggle track, we can see now we have this activate and deactivate. So I'm just going to say on frame 92 we want it to activate. And you can see at the moment it's still turned on, so if you just come to before your actual sequence starts and just go to deactivate and add another key there, so now your system is turned off, and when you get to activate, it turns on. And if you want to turn it off again, just go to deactivate and add a key there, and it will turn off. So it really is as simple as that. So th this is really kind of useful for um, if you want to do like little puffs of smoke and things like that. The kind of thing I use it for if you have an explosion you want to go off at a certain time, that kind of thing. So um, yeah, simple as that really.